Hi, this is Nigel Galt, Managing Director of Olympic Limited, and this is a short video to show you how to use our new add-in, uh, Google Search Plus for My Manager. Uh, this add-in has been developed to uh, replace uh, the now effectively deprecated uh, inbuilt function of My Manager, um, which has ceased to work since around June of 2016. So um, basically, this is going to be a very quick overview of how to you how to set up and to use the add-in. Um, you need to have a Google Search API key and a Google and set up a Google Custom Search engine uh, and have the identification number for that as well to use the add-in. That has been covered in uh, two other videos that we've done. Uh, you can access those videos through the Google Search Plus Help Map. Uh, within the application when you go to use it. So basically the way that we've set this up is that so when you want to retrieve some Google search results around a term um, you ideally put the term onto a topic. Right clicking on the topic you'll then see that you have a Google web search option within the context menu. Once you activate this you will probably see the following screen. Now this is because you haven't yet set up your Google Search Plus credentials. Now this is the API key and the search engine ID that I mentioned earlier. So what you need to do is to set those up inside Google. You only have to do that once to get the two uh, keys uh, or the two references or two credentials and once you've got those you will enter them here in the add-in and you do that once and once that's set up you know, don't need to touch that again. So I'm just going to paste in the keys for this. So the first one is the API key. So I'm going to drop that in there. And the second one is the search engine ID. So I'm going to drop that one in there. Once the two keys have been entered, you'll see that you can then update the settings. Um, the keys that I've used are, are unique to, to the, what I've set up as Olympic, that's why they're blanked out at the moment so you can't see it. When you do this yourself, um, the actual public add-in, will you'll be able to see what the values of those keys are. Um, if, you're, uh, if you've watched any of the two videos showing how to set up those two credentials, please don't use the credentials used or that you see in those videos because they've already been disabled. The reason for this is because each API key has a quota of 100 um, search requests per day. Um, if you require anything more than that then you will need to in your Google account you will need to actually pay for additional searches above that quota um, which I think is something like five dollars for up to a thousand a day. Um, so I think that could well be one of the reasons why uh, the original MindJet uh, My Manager functionality um, was uh, withdrawn at that point and has not been updated. So once you've entered those keys, click update uh, and then those are now in. So at that point you'll then see the uh, dialog that asks you to set some, um, some specific options around your search. Um, this is the screen that you will normally see once you've already set up your API key and your search engine ID. Um, you'll come straight to this screen. So by default it takes the topic text that's on the topic that you've initiated the, um, the search from. Um, the show search results from past option this enables you to say only search for results that um, have been uh, searched or, or sort of um, or created within say the last two years or the last year or the last six months um, what this does is it create it, it removes older search results so um, your top 10 listing is more relevant for anything that's um, new rather than um, old. To activate that you just need to increment this zero from up to one. Um, and once you've done that you can then select uh, a period type so you've got days, months, weeks or years um, and if you leave it at zero then it will just search for all time. Okay. At any time if you want to see uh, advice about these just float the mouse over the little information icons and the tooltips will pop up explaining those for you as well. In the search term you can use any standard Google query format as well that you would normally use in a, in a Google search and, and the, the add-in should take that as well. 
Um, next we've got number of results to return. Unfortunately this is limited to a maximum of 10. Uh, it can be any, any number from 1 to 10 um, but uh, Google, this is a Google restriction um, and although there would be a way to get around it which we may look to build into the add-in which is effectively to loop consecutive searches and all uh, and kind of um, initiate each search, search from uh, a starting point so you know it would return the first 10 results then we can say the snap run the second search that starts from search result number 11 upwards um, but what you would have to remember that if you did say a search and said um, well okay return me the uh, 50 search results then that would effectively be five requests on your quota so uh, that's something we might add at a later date the next three options are fairly straightforward. Um, new topic for each result. When this is selected, it means that each search result will have its own topic and the information will be attached to that topic. If you deselect that, what will happen is a single topic will be created and each search result will be linked to a hyperlink within a hyperlink collection on that single topic. We'll show you that in a minute. Um, text notes. If you include text notes, then text notes will be added. The text notes basically show the uh, title of the page. They show the snippet that would normally appear in the search engine and also include the link as well. Again, if you're running that on a single topic, then the notes will be on the single topic, but they will all be in one string of notes. If you're running it where you're getting a result for each, uh, getting putting a, creating a new topic for each result, then each one will have its own separate text notes. Um, and lastly is uh, include a date map mark and what this does is it puts a label on each of the topics that are returned with the date that you carried out the search. Um, this by default is off but if it's something that you wanted to turn on when you do turn that on it then means that you will have map markers uh, for any given um, search dates that you've done under the general tags. Um, what that then means is if you for example wanted to say well um, I know I searched for some information around a specific subject on the Thursday the, the 18th of March or whatever it was you could go to that map marker in, in the map that you're looking at if that map marker exists if you click it it will then show you all the topics where you've used uh, where you searched for on that date so let's have a quick go and show you how it works so we're just going to leave this as it is at the moment we'll return um, 10 results just on MindJet and leave the settings as they are so once we fire the search, that then goes off and as you can see, in come the results. So it creates a brand new topic, gives us the 10 results. Um, we've had the text notes, so as you can see we get the snippet and the link for those for each result. And that's basically the, 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 the effect of, a, of a, standard, um, a standard search. So if we were to do a search for business mapping, for example, and um, we go Google web search again so you can see it's come up business mapping is the term um, we could say okay let's limit this down to the top five results um, put them all onto one topic and we'll add the date marker as well so now when we search for that one you'll see a single topic comes in we've got the label showing that the dates that the results were returned and as you can see we've now got the five top results that that's brought back and on the text notes you can see that they've all been uh, streamed into a single note there as well. So again just to show you right click Google web search and you basically can put whichever kind of uh, Google uh, query parameter you would like into that search term um, and then choose what you want to do with the other options. We will be looking at extending some of these options. Um, the Google search area is, is relatively new for us, so we're just at the moment finding out what it is possible to access and, and what we can't access. Um, but I think uh, you'll agree that it's uh, uh, a very effective um, replacement um, to enable you to get search results into your map so that you can continue to do that. One of the other things that um, happens is each time you run a search on a topic, the actual uh, search parameters are stored on that topic. So um, if we go back to the Ferrari search and we open up web search, it would basically show any settings that we have on here. Um, probably best if I show you that on the business mapping one, uh, where you'll see that it's stored the fact that we only were looking for the first five results. Um, we're putting in a routine as well that will actually 
enable you to just basically update the search and therefore if there's any um, results that are already on the on the um, on the subtopic structure then uh, they won't be um, added so they don't duplicate and only new results that don't exist would be added to that if there's been any change in the returned in the returned results so that's all there is to it um, when you do get to use the add-in um, you can find that there is a uh, help map uh, which is accessible here and once you have actually put your uh, Google Web Search credentials in as I say we have two other videos that explain that uh, once you have done that you can also access that screen at any time if you wish to change this um, if you have a problem with your API key for whatever reason you need to generate a new one then that's what you'd need to do to come in here and replace that um, also if you look at the uh, video on setting up the custom search engine ID you'll see that also you can set up different types of um, search engines uh, so you can create a search engine for example that will specifically just search for a set set of sites um, or certain uh, parameters within a, a given country I think as well is one um, again moving forward we might make it so that if you do set up multiple search engines within Google um, that you can then add them in and have a drop down list in here where you can uh, choose between which search engines you want to integrate interrogate when you initiate a search so that's it for the moment. I hope um, that you have fun playing with this uh, and I hope that it uh, meets the needs um, of those of you that were using the existing um, smart map part um, Google search in my manager. Uh, and if you've got any feedback, then by all means, as usual, please, please let us know and um, we'll do our best to incorporate uh, any improvements or suggestions into future releases. So thanks for your time. Hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll speak to you again soon on our next project.